Top 10 Childhood Topics to Write About Nutrition, Fighting the Childhood Obesity Epidemic This essay can explore the issue of the child obesity epidemic. In particular, talk about the ways in which healthy nutrition can help reduce obesity rates among children. Start by revealing the root causes of this issue and then suggest ways to promote healthy eating habits. Make sure to present a holistic approach that involves a combination of many factors. Childhood Disorders, Autism Spectrum Disorders In this research paper, you should provide an in-depth explanation of ASD's complex processes and its impact on children. Pay attention to the importance of early diagnosis. What diagnostic tools are available at the moment? Which ones are the most effective? Answer these questions in your essay. Relationship between childhood maltreatment and psychosis. This topic requires you to study the link between traumatic experiences in childhood and the development of psychosis later in life. Start by explaining the meaning of childhood maltreatment and its different types. What effects do they have on a child's psyche? To answer this question, study the impact of childhood trauma on a person's nervous system. School-age children and early childhood differences. What distinguishes early childhood from school-age years? Answer this question in your paper. For example, children undergo rapid brain development in their early years but develop more complex cognitive skills at school. Another essential aspect to consider is emotional and physical development. Childhood fever patients readmission and intervention. In this paper, you can discuss childhood fever as one of the leading causes of hospitalization. Enumerate various conditions characterized by a high temperature. Additionally, point out the cases where fever can be safely treated at home. How can caregivers determine whether the child should be admitted to a hospital? Childhood vaccination as healthcare priority policy issue. Vaccination plays a key role in safeguarding individuals and communities from infectious diseases. Childhood vaccination can help prevent many dangerous diseases. However, some parents see vaccines as hazardous for children. Is this viewpoint justified? How can we spread awareness about vaccination's harmlessness? Language Developmental Curriculum for Early Childhood Education Language development in early childhood has many important factors, including language acquisition, vocabulary expansion, and practical communication skills. In your essay, try to design a language developmental curriculum that includes all these aspects and facilitates a stimulating environment. Early Childhood Education, Theoretical Basics This topic is your chance to explore early education's most important theoretical frameworks. Describe several major theories, such as Piaget's, Vygotsky's, Erickson's, and Bronfenbrenner's. How do they help us understand children's learning processes? Borderline Personality Disorder and Childhood Sexual Abuse here, your task is to explore the link between sexual abuse in childhood and the later development of BPD symptoms. Explain how sexual abuse affects children's mental health and what coping mechanisms they may develop in adulthood. Find parallels between the symptoms of BPD and the consequences of childhood trauma. Familial Influences on Early Childhood Development this paper's main task is to demonstrate the role of the family in early childhood development. For the most part, this refers to the child's interactions with parents and caregivers. Additionally, you may review broader socioeconomic factors. How do they influence a child's emotional regulation, attachments, and social skills? Find more research topics on studycorgi.com.